Hi Melissa here and welcome back to another video. Today for you I have some 4th of July nails. I was just playing around and I thought that hey, I might as well film what I'm doing, right? So I can have some type of content on my YouTube channel. So I always start off, even if it's a real client or on the uh, silicone hand, I always start off with a clear coat of clear acrylic powder just so it's easier for the uh, acrylic to lay on top and to stick to it. And how I do this now, I don't um, glue down the tips to the hand because I was having a hard time soaking it off. So what I do, I just put a nail tip in, clip it down like I'm doing a client, and then I add a tip to it. And then I file and shape it. Um, I, I'm trying to learn different shapes and... This shape today I have a, an almond shape, kind of an almond oval shape. So that's what I decided to do there. And right now I'm coming in with the um, Glamming Glitz Wetsuit, I believe that's what it's called. That's the only like true dark blue that I did have. So I decided to uh, use that. And I'm going to be doing a three ombre, three color ombre on that hand so I let it dry a little bit and this one I am I have to practice this is actually my first time ever doing a reverse French and as you can see throughout the video it is so crooked but I just left it in the video just so you can see my mistakes uh, I'm still learning and I have a lot to learn with this I was kind of frustrated as you can see it's kind of crooked there's more gone on the right side than the left side so yeah I was kind of struggling with it again I've never done it before and I've always tried to stay away from it because I was always afraid to uh, do it because it looks it looks easy everyone makes it look so easy but when you actually do it yourself it's quite difficult to master so I'll just keep practicing it and maybe hopefully one day I will get it right here I'm using Glam and Glitz new blended collection and this is a birthday suit uh, a friend of mine Brandy hey Brandy if you're watching she sent me birthday suit in CJP I personally like the Glam and Glitz one better it's not as sheer as the uh, birthday suit uh, one from CJP Right now I'm going in with OPI's white. It's the only white I have. I personally don't like this white. I want to try a uh, Glam and Glitz white and see how that performs. I have a milky white from them in the blended collection, but I thought it wasn't it wasn't crisp enough. I needed that true white. And as you can see, it white is hard to work with. I was kind of a little struggling with that that nail, that pinky nail. And I go back in here and realize that it's not dry enough. So I kind of like pat it down a little bit and go back to go to the next nail and go back to it later on. And now I'm going in with it's Glam and Glitz and it's their mood effects and it's called a uh, semi sweet. And I went with this one because it was a brighter red. It's like a pinky red. Uh, the other ones that I have, they're like a dark red, and I wanted to use something bright, and this was the only one that I had, so I went with it. And so I'm just blending it down. I kind of had a hard time working with this one, too. Some of the um, Glam and Glitz powders, they're kind of hard to work with a little bit. And here I'm just using Birthday Suit, and I come in, and I go back and forth to get that, try to get that perfect blend. I don't know what was going on today why I was having such a, a hard time blending the colors but at the end I think it came out right all right except for that um ring finger that ring finger oh just we just won't we just won't talk about that ring finger but again I left it in there so you guys can see my um my crappy mistake so yeah I go over it again with birthday suit because I noticed that I got red onto the birthday suit and that just wasn't cute and I do go back in with the red and add a uh, 
a little bit and I go back and forth and I'm patting it back and forth with the color so to kind of like help them blend a little better and then I use uh, a glitter mix that I bought from I'll leave the link down in the description box down below I'll leave her link um, her Facebook group where you can buy her glitters from and I used that it was it's called like it's a 4th of July one I just wish it had more uh, blue and reds to it it was just too hollow uh, too much of a hollow for me I should have added more but I didn't add any more blue now I'm gonna go back to that pinky finger and I am adding red oh this was a hot mess I was like should I leave this in should I take this out I don't know but I left it in and at the end it worked out it didn't look that bad at all honestly I liked it how it came out again this was my first time ever doing a three ombre color I've never done one before I've seen them done so I'm like I'm gonna try it if they can do it I can do it you know so that's what I did so um, I'm gonna stop rambling on I'm gonna get off here and I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button that would mean so much and hit that notification bell because every time I upload videos you would get a notification and also if you could go subscribe to my Instagram that would mean so much I'm trying to get a thousand like or thousand followers on there I got a little ways to go but I'm trying to hit that thousand mark so if you can go over there and Help me out there. That would be awesome. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.